just wanted to show you guys my saw stand and I actually got this idea from other people on the internet I had never actually owned a sliding miter saw <clears throat> I found a really good deal on a cobalt and cobalt does not make very good power tools I have to say but I found this sliding compound miter saw and it's really interesting this is a the only one of its kind that I've seen, it's a seven and a quarter inch sliding compound miter saw. And it's only nine amps, 5,000 RPMs. And this saw really screams. I would say it's probably well over 5,000 RPMs. It just continues to accelerate. Sounds kind of like a vacuum cleaner, to be honest. Really good for fine finish work and small boards. And it'll do two by fours, two by sixes, and two by eights. Although, it cuts very very fast it's a very high rpm saw so it works really good on thin boards and i put a diablo blade on it i had heard about the diablo blade from a coworker, and well i was kind of skeptical but then i realized the uh, diablo blade is actually about half of the width of other carbide blades so it makes a very thin kerf which is the width of the cut and with such a thin cut it's really really accurate very easy to get your cut right on the edge of the line so you can get your cuts just absolutely perfect to where your pieces of wood literally fit together tight so that's really good for such an inexpensive saw the blade helps a lot um, actually was really impressed with the way the cobalt tool is put together it's actually very high quality so uh, it locks into position really nice it has a steel adjustment screw here which tightens it's all metal when you tighten it down although the quick release tab underneath is plastic but that's not a critical component and once it locks in you tighten the steel bolt so it actually does work really well and I found that it is very accurate the uh, movement and the angles are very accurate from the factory however I did have to completely adjust the back plate here this back plate and there's two large Allen screws. I found that to be very difficult. Um, it's just almost impossible to get it to within, you know, ten thousandths of an inch. But I wanted it absolutely straight, so I kept moving it around and mo moving it over and over, and finally tightened it down to where I wanted it. Now what I did is I actually built this uh, table, having no knowledge of what I needed in a miter table. I've never owned a uh, sliding compound miter saw. I've never even owned a miter saw and so I wasn't quite sure what I needed I'll tell you the dimensions because this saw stand is just awesome and actually the reason I'm making this video is I thought that I could share the dimensions and kind of share the layout and maybe inspire some others because I just really love this saw stand it works really well and it's got just enough room that you can actually lay your boards down after you cut them and so it has a kind of a workbench feature and it also has this drawer that I made and it's sliding on oak runners it's all wood and what I did is I dadoed the these are one by sixes and they're pine and I put a dado cut in them and that dado cut actually sits on a piece of oak a hard piece of oak and it's uh, sliding on oak runners you have to be very very careful when you're putting it all together because if the oak runners aren't straight of course the shelf isn't going to slide very good there's a better angle of the dado cut so I used just a conventional dado blade and cut those runners in and I glued and also screwed the oak runners in and they are about three quarters or a little more of the length of sorry the depth of the actual workbench believe it or not the shelf works really well and it's all oak and I wasn't sure if you could make a really nice shelf but I also put a stopper in underneath so it hits so you don't rip the shelf out you can't actually remove the shelf it's permanent but um, sorry the drawer I should be calling it a drawer you can't actually remove this drawer but I haven't found that to be an issue since you can access everything just fine I've uh, put my dado blade in here some wood chisels all of your bits and I found this to be a real good size it's actually perfect and I think that I can get by with just the one uh, drawer and I'll tell you the dimensions of the drawer it's actually 19 inches wide from this side 
to this side and that's the outside diameter of the shelf of the drawer it's 19 inches uh, the depth is six inches I put a plywood fascia on this and I also dadoed underneath it so the floor of the drawer is actually dadoed and it's inset and glued into these one by sixes and that's not really necessary you could build this however you want I actually have never dadoed anything so I just did that as an experiment honestly so you can see how nice it slides and I'll show you the oak runners so that's the oak runner there goes all the way to the back I've got three screws and then it's glued the full length it just slides really nice so works real well the other thing I did I put wheels on this and you simply unlock the wheels roll it to where you need to go and then lock the wheels into position and it's really sturdy now the dimensions on this the total length of the top from the left to right side is 61 inches the total depth of the top is 19 inches 